Okay, I'm outside again. It's a bit windy. That's why that just flew. Uh, this is Yukio. Now, I posted a video uh, playing a, a three-player game of Yukio. But now I'm going to play the solo. I'm going to go through the solo. Now, the way the solo works for this, and I, and I do believe that this uh, that this is this was designed as a solo game, and then they figured they could add the uh, the, the the multiplayer version to it. Multiplayer version's a bit uh, know, it's a bit chaotic, right? You you don't have a ton of control because other players are putting, you know, these cards on top of your cards, and it's just, uh, but anyway, if you've seen the, the video, it's, uh, I posted it right before this one. But the solo, you have challenges, right? You have uh, 1 through 20 here, easy, medium, hard, and brutal, and then more challenges back here, 21 to 50. 21 to 50 and then you can scan for puzzles 36 to 50 which is kind of cool so let's do an easy one and the way you do this let's say we take the second one here 6, 3, and 9 we gotta go through here here's 9 uh, we gotta find it's 6, 3, and 9 alright here's 6 and here's three, okay? Then we put the rest of these aside. This is the instruction manual. It's pretty simple. That's it. And there's the solo mode. So it's a pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy game, but it's, I like it. You know, I like these puzzle card games. Um, if you like this sort of thing, go look at my um, Harvesting 12. Uh, but anyway, the way this works is uh, things are going to start flying again. These cards are pretty good quality, so they're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to fly. The way you do this, right, so you, you're picking three, three uh, conditions that you need to meet. And here they are. A vertical or horizontal line of four flowers, the sakura, a two by three rectangle of any symbol, and 10 plus of the same symbol connected orthogonally. So these I leave off to the side because I have to, you know, be reminded and reference them. We shuffle the rest of the cards and then we begin. We, you know, you cannot exceed a six by six, you know, of these little squares. So here it would be four squares. You can't exceed six. So there's the first one. I don't know where this is going to go exactly. You know, the problem with these black mats is that any kind of, you can see any kind of dirt or cat hair. I have cats. I have two cats. Um, I kind of cleaned out cleaned it out before we started here but anyway you can hear the birds chirping I like sitting out here and playing games so this is the first card uh, again I have to do 10 plus of any symbol uh, connected or orthogonally a 2 by 3 uh, rectangle of any symbol and uh, a vertical or horizontal line of four flowers. So there's the first card. Here's the second one. Now, this is a easy level, but you, you still need to think, right? Because I could put this down here. That's three uh, flowers. That almost meets one of the conditions. But I also have to think about the 10 plus symbols mm. connected orthogonally. Um, so, you know, and, and by the way, you can orient these however you want, right? You can overlap them. You can put them upside down like that. doesn't really matter. Um, I think I will. Mm, no, because if I get another card, I'm going to have to put it on top of there. 
Now, of course, there's only four symbols on these cards, so I will get more flowers. I'm not that worry, worried about the vertical or horizontal line of four flowers because I should be able to get there. I'm more worried about the 10 plus uh, symbols connected orthogonally. So I'll, I'll throw this here. Now, the problem with this is that I've already done six across, right? Right? You cannot exceed the six by six. So we'll just leave that there for now because then I could use the cranes or the... Uh, Keep forgetting what these things are. Um, walnuts. Uh, they're not walnuts. They're um, uh, acorns. Acorns. Come on, Alex. Acorns. So here, I could do this and have my four. But then I'm already five here. So I could use the space down here. Or let's see what I could do. Uh, I could do it this way because then I could work on the acorns connected orthogonally right so I'll do that the problem with meeting this condition too early is that it's possible that I'm gonna have to well actually if I put it this way I will at some point overlap these right well I've already turned that one over so I know what's coming <laughs> anyway I was thinking of doing that so let's do that no, I know, I know there's a bunch of flowers here. Um, so let's say I decide to do the acorns. Boy, it could be any symbol, right? So I could use it as the flowers as well. So now I have four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I already have nine flowers. And then, of course, the two by three rectangle of any symbol. I've already met that right here with the flowers as well, two by three. So this is not the most challenging. I will use, this is going to be easy because I will use the flowers for everything. Okay. I'll just, you know, I've, I've already met all the conditions. But I think I need to go through all the cards, if I'm not mistaken. Lay out the corresponding challenge cards. Shuffle the other cards and face down. Then each card at the time, placing them however you want in total grid. You aim to complete all tests. All cards have been played, so yes, I have to play all cards. So I just need to preserve this, right? Because I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've met this condition. Two by three, I've met this condition. And vertical or horizontal, I've <laughs> I've done it twice here. So basically, I just have to survive by not. Technically, uh, you know, you know what? I could just do this. Uh, the game's over. So easy is pretty easy, right? Because all I, all I can do, all I need to do now, really, is just keep putting cards on top of these, which makes it uh, which makes it pretty easy. No, it doesn't matter. I could just keep laying these on top of here until I'm done. Look, I'm even going to get more flowers. Wait, uh, two by three, a vertical. Well, I could, I could put the flowers here. It doesn't matter because I still meet the condition. Here's five vertical flowers. I don't know if it matters, but but I got four here. So anyway, that yeah, I mean, that's it. Uh, I win. Okay, so I did meet this. 10 plus of the same symbol connected orthogonally, the, the sakura flowers. Uh, two by three rectangle of any symbol, that right there, the again, the sakura flowers. And a vertical or horizontal line of four flowers, right there. Or there. <laughs> so that was pretty easy. Let's, uh, you know... For fun, maybe we should try a brutal. By the way, here's a list of all the uh, tasks. <sighs> Let's try a medium. What the heck? Let's try a hard. Let's try the hard here. 4, 8, and 12. 4. Here's the 8. This is 13. 
Here's the 12. I just need the 4. Here's the 4. Alright. Let's see what we could do here. Alright, so the conditions here are a diagonal line of four of any symbol. Okay, that, that's not too tough. A six by six grid complete. And more flowers around perimeter than any other symbol. Okay, so I need to put these Sakura flowers on the perimeter of the six by six. A vertical or horizontal line of five cranes. Okay, that is more difficult. For sure. So let's see. There are the cranes. I need to keep the Sakura. <coughs> Excuse me. I love sitting out here and watching the birds uh, or listening to the birds chirp. Um, all right. So a vertical horizontal of five cranes. Okay. Let me just drop that there and see where I'm going to go with it. I need to keep Sakura flowers um, I need a, a diagonal line of four of any symbol let me move this over so you can see it and the grid complete with more flowers on the outside so I don't want to do that because then I'm gonna have to cover that up there so maybe, well, let me do this. I could definitely do this because then it's got, I got two flowers here. But I need how many? Uh, four of any symbol. I could potentially cover this to get another crane. A, hor a vertical or horizontal line of five cranes hmm. how about if I do that well the problem is I need to keep more flowers on the outside let me let me do this I got plenty of cards left okay um, four potentially I will put one here right because then it'll complete six. Okay, what is this again? More flowers, diagonal line. Diagonal line of four of any symbol. Oh, diagonal. How about if I go here? I'm create a diagonal with these... Um, acorns or should I do it this way the problem is I don't put the sakura on the edge there but heck let's just do that because now I got six and six already right this is good for me I mean oh wait um, yeah I was hoping to put an acorn right there this way but I can't so let me put this here because then that uh, nope Wow, I'm working on cranes. I could do a diagonal line of flowers, though. Right? If I do this, then I already have four diagonal flowers, but... All right. Well, this is medium difficulty, so let's keep, let's keep going. Oh, there are the acorns. All right, I can do this. Because that completes my vertical line of five cranes, right? The thing is, I'm going to start having to cover stuff up. I could do that. So there's my six by six grid. I've got to be careful what I do here now. I could do that. 
I just need to survive now because I've met the conditions. The grid complete and more flowers on the outside. So far I do have, oh, wait a minute. I have one, two, three, four. I have five butterflies. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I have more flowers and a vertical or horizontal line of five cranes right there. So doesn't matter what I do here. Wait, a diagonal line of four symbols. That would be the flowers, right? So I can't... Oh, I can do that. I still have the four flowers right there. Oh, I gotta pay attention here. So where do I put this? I don't want any more butterflies on the edge. So I might want to... Do this. I got three more cards. I got this. Let's see. I could do that. Still got the diagonal. Still have the five cranes. And do I have more? Oh, let's just see. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I have six acorns. I have three, four, five, six flowers. I need to put more flowers on the edge. Oh, no. Well, this will clear out one of the... Ooh, I got one more card left. I really have to think about this. What if, no, if I, if I do this, I have one, two, I have three, four, five, I have six flowers, and I have one, two, three, four, five, yeah, this will work. Last card, God, let's see. I can't go there. I have three, four, five acorns, three, four, five, six flowers. Okay, so I've met that condition. Where the heck do I put this card? You know, I can do it here. All right, so let's look at the conditions. Did I do this right? Six by six grid complete and more flowers around perimeter than any other symbol. So I got three, four, five, six flowers. I got one, two, three, four, five acorns, three, four, five butterflies, and one, two, three, four cranes. So I did meet this condition. Done. A diagonal line of four of any symbol. I got the four flowers there. Do I have anything else? Maybe I would have hit it by X. I almost got the butterflies. A diagonal line. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I got the Sakura flower, so mission accomplished. And a vertical or horizontal line of five cranes right there. One, two, three, four, five. So I met the conditions. Um, in the medium, right there. Oh, wait. Uh, it was this. No, was it hard? I forget which one I was doing. Wait, which one was I doing? Four. I was doing four, eight, twelve. Which one is that? Oh, that was a hard. Four, eight, twelve, hard. Wait, you see, some of these have like four cards that you have to meet the conditions. And I, brutal must be exactly that. Brutal. So there you have it. Like I said, I think Yukio is a. I think Yukio is a, you know, it's a solitaire game that the designers um, realized that they could add more players. Um, I like it as a solo game. I, I like it as a multiplayer game, too. I mean, you know, it's kind of fun. But again, it's chaotic because 
you know, uh, you s just watch the previous video and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. But there you have it, Yukio, a cool solitaire game from England, Walnut Games. Go get one.